Come on in this house. Welcome back to the Navy Black Podcast. This is Big Boy the Boss, aka the Money Quarterback, making plays with the money. Dennis Rodman episode. What up, bit? What it do, everyone? If not for you, then who? What it do, Bally? Man, what it is, man. It's your boy, Young Mally, man. Mr. Lee, me where you found me. You already know what it is. Let's get at them. Jerns, what it do? <laughs> what up? What up, you guys? Yeah, hey, we got a guest in the building, man. First time we had a guest that we didn't know before, did. Introduce yourself, man. Jabari Jackson, producer. Talk a little bit of mic. everything. Oh, my fault, my fault, my fault. From uh, Georgetown, South Carolina. Uh, I make music. I got an own clothing brand, Gas. Stand for growth and success. Okay. And just oh, that was gas stand for. Yeah, it was like gas success, got stand yeah. for the gas, man. I mean, it do, but professionally, <laughs> yeah, it stands for growth and success. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Okay. Okay. Yeah, okay. Yeah, That's yeah. not his growth and success. So I, cause I was, I was on your Facebook or whatever. You don't yeah. be on there a lot, but it's like you had a, a quote that I, I always try to live by, which is the five P's, which is like proper preparation prevents poor performance, man. Because like I feel like with that mind state and mindset, like you can accomplish anything you want to accomplish. So like, right, let right, us know right. what what you out here trying to accomplish. I'm just trying to accomplish success and growth for the younger people that's under me. You know what I'm saying? Oh, yeah. Like my nieces and nephews, I take mad love for them. You know what I'm saying? I do anything and everything for them. And if I can't do nothing, the most that I can do is show them how to be successful. You know? Yeah, how exactly. How to grow. You know what I'm saying? By, by action. And perform by action. Right. Exactly. Right, right. Respect. Because they ain't going to listen to you like you want them to listen mm-hmm. to you. You know what I'm saying? They got to see it. Yeah. Go through it. You know what I'm saying? Fail a couple times. Got to. But they gotta see you actually putting in the work to actually do right. it because you can say a lot, but if you ain't never accomplished nothing that you saying, then why would somebody believe what you doing? Right. Because right, you ain't right. doing it. You just exactly. talking. Exactly. exactly. That's how I feel. I feel like you got it's like a show and prove mentality in my opinion. Like at some point in time you got to show me what you're talking about. If you ain't mm-hmm. showing me nothing, like I can't really respect nothing you're talking about because like you just talking at this point in time. Right. And I, right, right. I feel like that's a lot of wasted time just talking. Like right. in my opinion, like I said, I'll listen to your music, but like I, I'm not the biggest music listener because mm-hmm. I'm a podcast listener. I mean, obviously, I do a podcast, so like I like to listen to information so I can just learn as much as I can. Let me turn right. my phone off. My bad. Right, 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 right. I just want to learn. So what? What all the stuff that have you learned trying to get you to your point with the, the, the clothing brand? Like what obstacle have you went through? The, me, the most, the most expensive obstacle I went through was finding out how to stand out and finding out how to be different, finding out my own brand, really, you know what I'm saying? And then like, I'm the youngest in my entire generation in my family. Mm-hmm. So I had, I, I had, you know, older brothers, older uncles, whatever like that, you know what I'm saying? Watched them fail several times, still failing, you know what I mean? But that's part of life, you, yeah, know, that's life. Yeah. you know what I'm saying? You know what I mean? But just being the youngest and everybody looking at you like the baby and no you can't do that you know what i'm saying yeah. everybody else in the family ain't do it yeah we'll make you think you could do it why you know? are you special you yeah, know but exactly. I mean, you know what i mean with that failure that's like the biggest part to success though you gotta mm-hmm. fail mm-hmm. You, you got gotta, to yeah you got to and, you, and, and honestly i learned this from my pops recently you gotta fail big yeah you can't fail sm- i mean you can't fail small but the biggest failures will put you on the right path closer mm-hmm. to you know what i'm saying where you got to get to exactly right. that's like you learn so much from them because it's such a big failure yeah, so you're yeah. like i got i learned so much through the situation right, so right. now i know it the next time i'll go through it because like like life don't start after you fail you, exactly. you still gotta get up the next morning to exactly. go breathe and yeah, go but that quote it. to me means like fail on a ten million dollar project and not a ten thousand dollar project. Don't like set your goal at ten thousand. Set your goals at ten million, a mm-hmm. hundred million. You feel yeah. me? So that that would mean fail big. It's did. gonna hurt more like the ten million versus the ten thousand. That ten million gonna hurt more. So you gonna sit back longer, like man. I gotta man. get that bread. Yeah, I gotta like, get back. Like what? What I'm gonna do? You know what, what I gotta do? Yeah, what, compared, where I fucked up at? You compared, know what I mean? Oh my fault, my fault. Compared to that ten thousand, then it's like man. Fuck that ten. It's ten thousand, man. Okay. I, I, I go do something yeah, right you now. Do you know what I'm saying? But that ten million. That failure is just gonna make you sit on it harder. Yeah, you know, yeah, like man. I gotta get that back. Yeah, 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 yeah. Just like we were talking about <laughs> earlier with Country Wayne, he was on the Breakfast Club and talking about he was what you said down to thirteen thousand, yeah. or like in debt thirteen thousand. No, he, was, he only had thirteen thousand oh, left. Had it was his last thirteen. Yeah, he invested. And then hey, turn that shit to like last thirteen, seven million. It turned into seven million. Yeah, what a flip. seven million strong, right? Yeah, yeah. Hey, seven I mean, million last you year. See how he ride. 
Yeah, like he you know, he, he, did, he did his character like drip. You know how Dizzy Banks had yeah, did it, but yeah. he did this drip character and like on Facebook and online or whatever. He got so much. I, yeah. I ain't never saw this character. I have. You know, he yeah, always talking about it. it. But yeah, he, he got he got a, he got a restaurant and all that shit in the A though. That's fire. Yeah, That's he got. And he it got took a lot him what like a year, two years, something like, like that. Yeah. No, it yeah. took him way longer than he was not. Yeah, he just had failed. He failed so much, right? And he went down to his last thirteen thousand. So he just made a big. But he figured out like, what his I lane figured out is. What it was. Cause he a clean right, person. Right, like he right. don't do none of that. Like he just like Dead the Bank. They really clean people. So like yeah. they don't do none of that rah rah behind the scene. Yeah, so they yeah. can they can portray these quote unquote hood. Cause he want to know he just the drip. It's like a, a hood rapper from Atlanta or whatever. No so drip like, the drug dealer. Oh, okay, okay, yeah, he okay. a rapper though. He, <laughs> yeah, he got, he got yeah. EP. That's so what he, he, did, he just put on the character. Of the nigga yeah, the hood exactly. type. Okay, okay. I'm gonna check that. out. I'm gonna check it out. Yeah, that nigga, that nigga done with that shit. I watched that. But I'm saying, but think about all the stuff he learned from that. I think he funnier than DC. Young Fly? I don't like DC. You don't like DC? I don't like DC. Don't DC I, I don't. He, you, I DC like him. He's funny to laugh at, yeah. not with. Yeah. Like, Carlos like Miller uh, a way funnier okay, person okay, to me yeah, than DC. Yeah, you feel yeah, me? Yeah, like, like, DC antics are funny, but, like, I ain't going to listen to DC and be like, that's funny what he said. Right, like Sometimes that. he growing in mindset right now, right. but he don't make me laugh. Right, right, right. He right. made me laugh at But he like a Chris Tucker, he like he can he talented. Like he can yeah. sing. Yeah. He can do all exactly. these different things. That, he don't just got laugh. one lane. Yeah, right, he, right, he, right, he, right. he ain't gonna give you no deep like I ain't saying he is a deep thinker cause he do say good stuff. Yeah. What I'm saying, like Carlos Mingo give you some old uncle wisdom. You're not, and yeah. like, yeah. It's gonna be funny. Like, it's gonna be old uncle yeah, funny yeah, stuff. Yeah. That's what he gonna give yeah, Uncle Carlos. Yeah, Uncle yeah, Carlos. Uncle Chico. You feel me? Like my favorite comedian, Corey Holcomb though. So I'm in that fashion of comedian. That tell me a lot about you. Yeah, you feel me? That's a raw dude. You raw. You feel me? I like him raw. Oh, you raw, like if Corey yeah. Hogan come in Columbia or Greenville, I'm going to see yeah, him because yeah, I'm like yeah, I've been yeah. down with the 5150 for a long time. Right. But where you from? I'm from Georgetown, man, yeah. small town, right in between smack dab in between Myrtle Beach and Charleston. And so you went to school where? I went to high school at Georgetown, Georgetown High School. Georgetown High. We we we, we, stayed, yeah, we 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 stayed we um, we stayed at Carver's Bay before um, I played basketball. Good. That was a so that, that's in yeah. Georgetown, right? Yeah, that's Georgetown County. Okay. Georgetown County, okay. That's probably about. I'm from a little neighborhood named Greentown. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, Greentown. Greentown, Greentown <laughs> man. Never heard of you. Got to rep it. Everybody gonna rep the old. You know? Oh yeah. Don't hit my camera. It ain't. It, I ain't in focus no more. So you want me to get up? Yeah, just hit the only so uh, you can be off camera. But anyway, I'm gonna keep going or whatever. Cause yeah. like, but like, cause like, I live in Charleston now. Like you, like you live in Charleston, but me living in Charleston, I live in the West Ashley part. Georgetown ain't in Charleston. That's 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 no. like it's way like there. It's, it's, it's way like there because it's past Mount. It's like it's like Mount Pleasant. Then you got to keep going like fifty five miles. Santee, and then, you got, and then you got all them other little towns. Yeah, you know, uh, McLennanville yeah. and stuff. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. yeah but yeah, like, yeah. Georgetown is an hour from Charleston, probably about an hour and some change, and about same distance, maybe forty five minutes from Myrtle Beach. Yep. So like every weekend, we either go to the beach. That was that why you ain't Myrtle Beach, yeah. You know so like when you say yeah. Charleston, like yo, you you live at the you live at Myrtle Beach, Georgetown, yeah. that Myrtle Beach, man. That Think about when we went to Coastal, it was or Georgetown, exactly. Yeah. Right, yeah, you yeah, 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 yeah. The technical yeah. college right beside Coastal. Um, they got hey. they actually got like three branches in Georgetown, Myrtle Beach, and Conway. Conway, yeah, that way, yo, Coastal yeah, Conway. Yeah. Little niggas in Georgetown to rob you too. Yeah. 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 Listen, back in the days, now I heard this from a nigga. They had a little small college down there, right? It's a little small college somewhere close to that way. Oh, um, or Georgetown, yeah, yeah, so nigga went there he was like hey they got a little click called a biker boy a bunch of young boys you go to the teller yeah, late at night them niggas pull up boy. on the bike you know what i'm talking about right <laughs> so it's okay it's not a lot then <laughs> so they'll pull up on you you get your money out yo, the nigga out to my you. big cousins yo hey yeah. biker boy biker hey boy. that take, shit was real stuff. a nigga called me yeah, he called yeah, me he yeah. was like man look Man, they was telling me about some shit called the biker boys out here saying, <laughs> don't go to the teller at night. Them niggas pull up on bicycles and get at you. Yeah. <laughs> Give me all this. Get I need them. that. Fuck. Look, look, nigga, get mixed at bikes and shit like that. I used to be out. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah they, get, they get at you. I'm like, you can have it all, man. I still need my life. Yeah. I don't biker want boys, it. Man. I don't want it. See a group of bicycles, nigga. Hey, fuck. How old you will? I'm, damn, I'm 30. Wait, gee, we 31. You're around our age, man. What? Damn, I wasn't. God, oh, you were. Yeah. You know how it be when you get I out mean, here, man. When you get older, you don't think of age. When you do a lot, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. motherfucker. I just want to do what age old range you was or whatever. So you graduated probably like 2009, 2010. 2009, yeah. Yeah, yeah. we graduated 08 or whatever, you I'm know? I'm sorry to hear that, but it's cool. Yeah, bro. we was the greatest, man. Hey, 08 yeah. the great, but that's what I'm saying. Me personally, I had. I think it's cool as hell that like you reached out because like, like I said, we never met before. And, like you the first person yeah. that came on this podcast that we did not have ever came across before. And, like I feel like networking is the main thing to do in yeah, life yeah. to 
to prosper, to make yourself go farther in life. With you heating us up, it's like, yeah, you can come on. Cause we we need to somebody from a different place that maybe got different people just to hear about this. Cause like we know, like building this podcast or whatever, it's like it's a slow grind or whatever. Like every week, we gotta come in and just do the jump because we want to. It's like it ain't right. like the whole place, if the whole state watching us, but right, we right. could be these people that just low, not nobody watching. But soon enough, a lot of people could be watching. And see, that's the value of networking, man. Like. It's no, it's, it's no telling how much people I can connect you with or the next man to connect that, that, that you know. That yeah, exactly. Me. Like, who you know who you know. We don't know who you know. Exactly. Know that, who that's you know. why you take every opportunity. You take every opportunity because right. you don't know what's on the other side of the door right. to let you in. Yep. You know what I'm saying? Shout out to MBS Gooch. You know yes, what I'm saying? Yeah. That's how no, I got, bro. you know, linked in with y'all. Yeah, yeah. so y- yeah. y'all did music or whatever together. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I how long y'all did me? I used to do music a while back, but. That just you never, you never used to do. Yeah, that. yeah I did. Always, I did. Music. You got a group called Mally Mike and Quit because they nah. always quitting. <laughs> yeah, but, but hey, really, really, really was called Man Up, Mally Mike and Nick. Nick. Hey, Nick. we ain't yeah. fucking with them niggas on that shit. But yeah, God, Nick. hardest yeah. niggas yeah. in the base bird. Yeah. you gotta watch, watch that. It's a podcast with them on the podcast. You gotta watch that. Right, but like, we, we, we was like, up. like our little group. It was another group out, but then it was our little group. But our little group kind of like I ain't gonna say took off, but we kind of stood out a little more because. The people that was behind us, they kind of pushed it out there a little more. Like we had CDs in the store, we did shows, yeah. and we did All shows back like, in the day, like two thousand. Yeah, we did shows with like Boosie, Rashida, Bow Wow, Pretty yeah, Ricky, on the stage, Sammy. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Um, who else? Man, Bo Hagen. When y'all with the Crime Out? Crime Out. Yeah, I had like I was a that Crime Out. You know, Crime Out was hot. Yeah, like, yeah, Bow Wow yeah. came out. They rushed everybody in the dressing room, so I ended up getting we ended up getting locked in the dressing room with like Crime Out. So we ended up we chilling oh, okay, with them. Yeah, yeah. Then after that, they was like, "Yeah, y'all gonna come to the club with us? Yeah, y'all cool." So. You know, we kind of networked through that shit. That's dope, and then, man. like, everybody kind of moved. Them niggas moved to the eighth. I stayed in base work. So I kind of, like, did my own thing. Then one of the niggas moved to Charleston. Niggas still like that. He in Conyers, Georgia. Yeah. So he do music every now and then. But this nigga real, like, real live lyrics. Like, this nigga own his shit with it. But he don't even do it like that. And See, then my other nigga, he got a studio, engineering and shit. He, fire, he, he make a couple beats. He do a couple little tracks or whatever. But he more into engineering. So, like, right. with the music, what all do you do with the music? I just dipped into the engineering field, I'll say like the last two years. So yeah. I'm gonna still call myself a rookie when it comes to that, because that engineering yeah. is yeah. completely different from yeah, that shit different. producing that shit different. or songwriting or all of that. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like You be rapping too, ain't it? Nah, nah. Oh, you don't nah, be rapping. So that one, so we'll listen to, nah, we'll listen to Gas Bro's album, and it was like, we don't even know which one you are. It's so like, you're like, not on there? I'm the producer. Oh, okay. That was everything, everything, though. All, all the beats, I made all of You can tell you've been yeah. that nigga vibe and not get how to make it a beat. Oh, yeah, that, yeah, that's, oh, yeah. that's all you got to do. Yeah. But it's money in that shit because you can lease a beat or you can sell a beat. Exactly. So it's forever getting paid. Like, exactly. I could, so you could pretty much take this beat and lease it to him, me, or him. You know what I'm saying? Yep. A little six so, months, a uh, year yeah, lease yeah. on it. And then, whatever, like, you know? if one of us want to, like, we take off with it, we come back and buy this beat from mm-hmm. you now. So we mm-hmm. own it. They can't even use it, but yeah. they can use it like some mixtape shit. Yeah. Right, right, right. I, yeah, yeah, I, yeah, yeah, yeah. Because so yeah. I know I bought a couple beats and I leased a couple beats. You know yeah. what I'm saying? So just go ahead and buy them out. Yeah. If you can, just go ahead and buy them yeah. out, man. You know, because so, it's always yours. You yeah, could yeah, there any other producers around the area? Yeah, yeah. Um, all right, so Gas Brothers is a team of producers. Mm-hmm. Like, right. You know what I'm saying? Right now, it's about five producers exclusively, but like maybe like six or seven unexclusively. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? But, well, the the original people is me and DJ Apollo. I don't know if y'all heard of him. No, I ain't um, never heard. What, he from South Carolina? Yeah, he from Georgetown, too. Okay. Uh, me and him, um, we went to band together, and uh, we was on the drum line together. So okay. You're band, so you're the band. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> that was the only Big cannon ass. I can actually play, though. Okay, okay. yeah. You yeah. read music. <laughs> Yeah, I can read me. He better be making these beats, but you never know. Hey, the thing is, though, yeah. a lot of people like what? What? Hold on, let me say. But you was on the drum line. Yeah, I was on the line. Yeah, a yeah. lot of people who play percussion, they can make fire ass beats. Mm-hmm. They know how to read they, every they instrument it. though, mm-hmm. yeah. because while they playing it, they got to blend with that other instrument mm-hmm. around, so they yeah. can pretty much like. I'm telling you, I know a nigga, man, he played uh, He percussion. wasn't playing no drum. He playing the xylophone, though. No, 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 like And that. I ain't gonna hit on the xylophone, because I, I love that shit. That bitch tough. That bitch tough. Yeah, 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 like, yeah. A nigga taught me how to play the uh, Michael Jackson shit yeah, on the xylophone. On the xylophone, ooh. Yeah. That's the thing. Once you learn how to play, like, yeah. a classic, it's like, man, I gotta. Yeah, because I played trumpet for, like, sixth grade, and I got out of this Yeah, I got out of it. I couldn't carry that. But I always say, yeah, for, like, Half a semester in uh It's sixth grade, because, like I say, we wanted to, um, we went to sixth grade 2001. It would have been 2002. Yeah. We would have played on the drone and we would have been in the drum line. Yeah, you know, drum line came Nick out. Cannon, you want to yeah, be yeah, Nick Cannon. You feel me, what I'm saying? But I played the trumpet for six months. I didn't like it. It hurt my lips. And I'm like, 
This ain't where the cool people at. The cool people ain't in the band. I ain't cool in the band. I want to be in chorus with the boys. I want to be in the home on. I should play the drums though. You feel me? Now I rather cook at home on, man. That way the women at too. You did so. Right, 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 right. I you remember I had broke my collarbone too playing football when I was like eleven. Uh, Wesley had crushed me, broke my collarbone. <laughs> Got your so ass. So I couldn't even play the trouble, you know? I ain't have a one on, so. Yeah. <laughs> now, you can't play the trouble with one on. Like, hey, uh, with the engineer, like, what what, what you using? What FL you? Studio. Okay. FL okay. Studio. Loop. Um, I just jumped on the um, Logic. Okay. Uh, Pro Tools too, but uh, I've been doing FL. I've been making beats on FL since I was like 12, 13. Mm-hmm. Yeah, with okay. the computer with the booty on the back of it. Yeah, yeah. Everybody start with that FL. Though. Yeah, FL, and I'm FL. still rocking with FL. Yeah, after, it, it's after a classic. It's like yeah. why get rid of it? And they it's upgrade every year for you. You know what I'm saying? It's a lot of hidden stuff in there yeah. too. Mm-hmm. You, you know, know like, like I had like when I was doing the music, I had all oh, I had FL, I had Pro Tools. I went about Pro Tools high as fuck. I spent like seven hundred on the shit. Yeah. And now yeah. you can just buy it online. You don't even have to pay the full shit. You can pay monthly on the mm-hmm. shit now. So that shit mm-hmm. crazy now because I had to go in the music store and buy the disc, but this shit is over the internet now. You just paying monthly like twenty five fifty dollars for this shit. Yeah, they'll go buy. And then I did. bought like the uh, FL Studio shit. I don't forgot which one it was, but then like, you mad at the whole setup. Yeah, I had a whole little setup, like you know what I'm saying, like the podcast. Now I had a little room just for the studio shit. Yeah, yeah. There's some chill shit. And see, but, that's a benefit to people that yeah. want to do music these days. Like if you want to get some equipment, you can actually put on a payment plan. Like yeah, you yeah. used to have to buy everything. Yeah, yeah I had to buy straight everything. Out, you, know you know what I'm saying? saying? So I'm spending yeah. like thousands and just on that shit and not even knowing that I'm not gonna use it. Right. I don't even have it now. I gave it away. I gave that. But they give it to us though. Yeah. Y'all ain't wanna do it. Y'all wanna do this. Hey, you did, but, hey, <laughs> so you know like any producers up. in this area? Like since you uh, since, since you say you, yeah, you live yeah, in um yeah, RSM yeah. now. Um Day Day. Uh, I'll be at Quantum Beats. I don't know if y'all heard of Quantum Beats. We, yeah, cool. we, we still record. Yeah. We used to rap too. Okay, yeah. We used to yeah. record at Quantum like, Beats. We was the Squad. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Y'all boys used to rap. I don't have no care. But Dre don't care. That shit, man. Who didn't have no care? But Dre don't care. Everybody knew it, man. We had a little time on Smash back in the day. I haven't had nothing. Around this area, Big Trey. He a producer. Like, he he do camera work too. He's like, and he in this area, he do a lot of the videos. And like the wrist, I, I wouldn't say wrist spring area, but more like I guess the bass break. Nah, he, Big Trey everywhere. Well, like, he, Trey he everywhere. do Boosie you know videos too. He did something with Boosie. Oh, he did oh, something yeah. some with Boosie. He did something with. Poo Shice was at the studio. Yeah, Poo yeah. Shice. Yeah, Poo Shice was at the boys. studio. What's the, what's the other nigga locked up? Big time. I fought with Big Trey. What's the nigga locked up? Got the five. With Poo Shice and them niggas, he talked to Rennie. Oh, yeah. What is that name? Poo Shice. Yeah, he did shit with them. Did he just propose to her? Yeah, uh, I don't, he did. I don't yeah, he did. I saw you in a picture what? with Rennie, and I saw you in a picture with Guns. Oh, so like, I want to get another picture with Rennie. Yo, I love you, Rennie Rucci. See, we do too, yeah. Rennie. Come on the podcast. <laughs> <laughs> but hey, now I can make that happen. My cousin, no, hey, no, we gotta Rennie. wait. You, you gotta wait. You feel me? We try to get these people, to to people on. Man. Yeah, 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 we get, yeah, yeah, we gonna have Rennie on one day though, because we used to like see Rennie all the time at uh, parties in Baseball, you know, because right. she hang around a dude that's from Baseball. Oh yeah, yeah. Uh, I didn't even know she was from like the Met. Yeah, she's yeah, from yeah. like she yeah. says like Hopkins, Hopkins or something like Hopkins that. Hopkins or something. Yeah, she's oh, from yeah, Columbia she's Way. Her and my so. cousin, good friends or whatever. They because we always talk about this one part of we was that Rennie was there or whatever. Yeah. Like on the pictures or whatever, she had the most lights. But the second picture was me and him that had the most likes. We just saying, yeah, man. Nah. We just saying, we, we was looking good, man. People love the twins, man. People always love the twins. I don't know. We what had the second most likes because it was her and Pig in the picture together. Yeah, yeah. It was us in a second. Oh, okay. We had the most yeah, likes yeah, or whatever. Yeah. Cause um, Pete, she do big thing, but like we know, like that. What I'm saying, we trying to get all these people on to like maybe make us have a bigger platform, man. Because right, like right, if right. you gonna build something, I feel like you gotta build it right. Just like how you yeah, were saying yeah, earlier, yeah. you like the setup, and like all we trying to do is like have a setup for somebody to come in and be like, okay. They ain't, they ain't playing around. Like, right, this right, real yeah. deal. Like, it's I gotta serious. be on my P's exactly. and Q's also. You feel me? Like, they ain't just doing it for a hobby. They right. trying to build something. That's right, something. Right. You and, did? and not only y'all trying to build something, y'all trying to allow, y'all allowing me to put my platform on y'all platform. Yeah. You know what yeah. I'm saying? Yeah. Right, so, right. if y'all need beats, holla at me. Holla at it, man. Hey, I might get me a beat, man. You for did? What? <laughs> get back in the studio. <laughs> you never know, man. We get. I'm gonna put mad trumpets on it for you. Too. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I, no, like we I gotta said, go with that motherfucker. I want, I want a saxophone on it, like my seagull dog. Like if I knew how to play the saxophone, get all the women, dog. Saxophone? You did. What saxophone? You just pull it out and play. Saxophone sexy, but I think a piano. Or, I think Got a piano too, get you closer. You know yeah, what I'm yeah, yeah, you feel so me? What's the process of you making a beat? Like so, how process? like how like the, you have to be in a, a certain mood, certain like mind frame. Uh, I don't have to be. I like I like to go off any mood because you never know. Where my creative juices is going, you know what I'm saying? Like, yeah. I'll either use a loop or I'll just make something from scratch, depending on how I feel and you know what my sounds is like. 
Most of the time, I'm random. Yeah. Especially yeah. like when I'm starting it. Yeah. Just ran finding. You sample? Sound. Yeah, I sample. I sample Craig. I just did. The, oh my god. But hey, tell me this: like, with y'all having a team, talk about that. with you having a team, you let other people come and put their input on your um beats or whatever. Yeah. The yeah, album, like, the album you say is listening to. Yeah. Um, every beat. Uh, it's just on, on the last album, it was like uh, 14, 15 tracks. I probably made by myself. I probably made like five, six of those. Yeah. Mm -hmm. But everything else, I love the collab with my bros. I love that because yeah, they cut. they inspire me to switch my sound up. Yeah. And at the same time, I inspire them to switch their sound up. Now we got new sounds. Yeah, because that, that's how we kind of did it. Like, you know what I'm saying? When we was doing it, like, okay, we might get a beat, but, you know, it might be this guy and this guy probably made this beat for us. Mm -hmm. But as far as, like, with the song writing and with the verses that we got, we kind of all went in on them verses. You yeah, know what I mean? Right, so right, it was right. like, if Mike P spit some shit or Nick, we might hear some shit and be like, hey, Let's try this with yeah, it. Yeah, 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 so we yeah, try yeah. this. I like that flow right yeah, there. Yeah, I like that flow, something. but we're gonna put this with it. Let's right. try this now. Right. You know right. what I'm saying? So it just wasn't us like songwriting. Yeah. The group we put in, like, damn, hey, change it up to this. Yeah. Change, yeah. Like, yeah, we just dropped some of the shit. We was trying to get a little EP out, but we've been bullshit. Yeah, I think y'all just need to do it for, for just us, do for the it, whole man. Time. Yeah, yeah. We just I got hear it. Like, I want to see videos right. too, though. Yeah, right, like, right. yeah. I don't care if I take off from the shit, but if I take off, I'm gonna take that. Yeah, that's but that's it's just like fun and free time. What I do it for now. Exactly. You know what I'm saying? And why I feel with this, like, dude, we never know where anything can go. Yeah, yeah. Just you, do you it. Never, like, you just do if you shit. never start, you'll never get nowhere with it. Like, I mean, you can't finish until you start. You can't do nothing until you start or whatever. And see, another thing is, man, you never know. Who gonna jump on your yeah, way? You know what I'm saying? Because yeah. people check for music, oh, just yeah. like they check for the news. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you know what definitely. I'm saying. And, and and if they know you, or even if they don't know you, you know what I'm saying. People gonna wanna. I wonder what he doing this time. Like how he's how, how is either how is he gonna make me think different, or how is he thinking different? Yeah, mm -hmm. you know what I'm saying. You all want somebody thought provoking. Yeah, yeah, yep. always. Like, people, because yeah, I like, want to learn every day, so I want to hear somebody talk that can maybe teach me something. Yep. Because anybody can teach you something. A kid can teach you something. Right. You can so never, tell you can me, never not tell learn. Me. It don't tell matter. Me. Like, just one like thing, what, go ahead. Go ahead. One, go one ahead. thing I ain't go. Uh, one thing. I, uh, one thing I'm not. One, oh, one thing I've uh, been realizing lately was it's that sure. people. We was talking about like people listening just now, right? Mm -hmm. My bad. Smoke some weed. You, you good? Uh. These days, like people don't, and shout out to my sis too, because we be talking about we be talking about a lot of this type of shit too. Like, people don't respect people's opinions, you know what I'm saying? And at the same time, people take too much from other people's opinions. Yep. You know what I'm saying? Like, people got to decide what's what and how to take it for you instead of, you know, looking at this person for thinking this way. Yo, we back in this thing, man. We got Colin Kaepernick in the building, man. <laughs> Can we go to one? Now nah, we got Tam. The big, big Tam. Tam, Tam the vibe. Tam the vibe. Vibe with two eyes. Tam the vibe eyes. in the same, man. Yes, you know how we be, be new people all day. Like we coming back and like, come on, introduce yourself to the um to the neighbor black squad. Um. Well, again, my name is Tam the Vibe. Vibe with two eyes, cause I can see I am a hip hop artist and a songwriter, and I work. Closely with this dude Dang. right here, Jabari Gas Brothers. He produced my last album, Astray Conversations, that is now streaming on all musical platforms. Bow. Gotta hey, check that out. Hey, gotta check that out. Hey. Yes, sir. Yeah. Hey, hey, the next one, I ain't produced most of the next. I probably got like one or two, maybe one production on it. But boy, when I tell you, you gotta listen to her next product. The first, the first one that I produce is Gas, it's, of course. Oh, yeah. You know what I'm saying? Damn, but this pressure. next one, Growth. Bro, I, I can't wait to listen to it. I, I love like I love your voice just by hearing you talk or whatever. It sounds like the whatever the music is gonna sound. I, know, I wish good. I had the uh, plug in because I should have put your music on right now. Yeah, right. Yeah, I'm I'm probably, I definitely get a freestyle. I want, I want, I want, <laughs> do I rap how I talk? I don't think I do. I think I have like a rapper voice. You got oh, a rapper voice. So, 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 rapper so voice. I know we haven't heard it yet, so we just meet you today. So give me somebody that you can say yo, you kind of like you know get, sing your old rap the way. So you, she an original. I'm gonna let him. If, uh, if I gotta mesh some people, all right. If Erica Badu rapped, okay, okay, she does I love Erica Badu. I did. Yeah, if if she like if she rapped and mm, I love I, I I didn't listen to enough Rhapsody, but the Rhapsody that I have listened to, 
I could I could put her I could put her in a lane, you know what I'm saying? I with, could agree with that. Mm-hmm. With that, I'll you know what I'm saying? That. A, a rhapsody so, Erica Badu. You just you just rapping, you're not singing R and B type shit, anything like that. Because I, I do whatever the spirit moves me. Hey, because okay. your voice sounds that's what I'm saying. like it your sounds, voice. It sounds you got like a good singing voice, voice. For real though. Just yeah. by your conversation, it sounds like you can fucking sing. What so, for real? You know what I'm saying? <laughs> <laughs> like. I mean that's just the way it is. It's all it just pre- so, it's so, so, so well. So you could give them the Tory line. You can give them the rap artist scene. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Right. Yeah. Right. Yeah. No, I, 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 I like to just call myself artist because, like I said, it's yeah, seriously, it's just you seriously, what with want. the with the spirit moves me to do. Yeah. Um, I might me send too. him a track back where it's just straight bars. Yeah. And then I might send a song where it's melodic. I'm singing the hook or whatever like that. But and since one of my biggest critics too, like when I finish making a beat, before I send it to anybody. I'll send her, well, I don't, uh, Squib told me not to send you all my beats no more, by the way. Oh, but the beats that I do send her, like, she'll, she'll get back at me ASAP, like, yo, that's, or, or she'll be like, mm, maybe you should. You need yeah, that. You know though. what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah definitely, definitely. definitely. But he's the, he's the same way with me, though. Yeah. Like, I earned and, and that's what I was just talking about. See, I was doing music, you know what I'm saying? So it was like something people in the camp. They didn't agree on so. Mm-hmm. All right, what you gotta say about it? Let me put it this way. Check this out. If I feel this, I'm gonna go with your way because I know if mm-hmm. you feeling it, I want to do it so somebody else can feel it. Right. Yeah. So it's a good thing y'all work that way though. So, oh yeah. So, yeah, so, so no. tell me where you from? I'm from Pauly's Island. Pauly's oh, you from Island. Island. I probably should have said it different, but I'm from I'm from Pauly's Island. Like, from like Island. A, where is Pauly's Island? Well, it's right place. next to Georgetown. It's right next door. So I, I be on. I live in with Charleston. Oh, it's an hour. Beach. Yeah, okay. it's an hour north of Charleston and we're like 30 oh, that's minutes close to like south Lynchfield of Murray. or something like that. No, like, yeah. no. Yeah, you feel me? Because, like, uh, we got a rich ass white homeboy. I was about okay. to say, there's <laughs> only one reason. Yeah, yeah. I don't I don't know. Know. People don't be knowing. Like, I say, probably yeah. like white people get it. They yeah, like, like, oh, 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 you're, you're from I was over, I was over <laughs> there. That's like, that's that's like, I'm over there. Like, where the fuck that's at? Right. Nah, niggas don't know about that. Yeah, nah. No, it's very, very white, very affluent. I, w- I lived in Georgetown County. We lived in Georgetown County, but I lived in the white town, so I went to the white school. That's what I was saying. That's why I sound like this a little bit. <laughs> I be cold switching like a motherfucker yeah. all the time. So, mm-hmm. Probably, I was not there. I so you were with the biker boys. She was with the biker boys. She was with the biker boys. The rebel flag. Uh, <laughs> That's funny. As so y'all ever heard about the Kiowa Islands then? Oh, yeah. Yeah, because like, I be um, down there from time to time. Like Kiowa Island? Yeah, yeah it's, it's like down there in Charleston. South, deep yeah. Charleston. Oh, they, yeah. you know, they got a bunch of islands. It's a lot. Yeah, Folly yeah, yeah. Beach, you like Seabrook. It's like, Island, it's that one, it's just so Island. much money. Like, Georgetown is like, closer to Murder Beach than Charleston. Than Charleston. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, okay. I mean, it's, it's not much of a difference. Probably like a 15 minute difference. Okay. Probably, but, yeah. yeah, yeah. Georgetown probably right just in the middle of it. In the middle, okay. It's kind of like Batesburg with like Augusta and Columbia. Yeah. Yeah, it's either way. Fuck Georgetown shit. Let's get into these. <laughs> I want to know more about it. Fuck all these places. Yeah, fuck all them places. Yeah, them places. We know that now. I need to know what's that's up with them. Like, yeah, hey, 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 fuck hey, this, this one of my, <laughs> hey, though, no, it's not fuck that time. It's just fuck that conversation about it. Hey, nah, but, that, but people from Georgetown, they say that all the time. Man, fuck Georgetown. I mean, yeah. I said that about my turn. Like, yeah. fuck it shouldn't be like that. But you want to know, and I forgot to tell you this. I actually met a dude that does, like, the most Lil Uzi Vertish, like, whatever he's from georgetown and he told Little me that Uzi i'm like Burgess. ain't no way in the fuck because like he like six four <laughs> that, ain't gonna work. that ain't gonna work that ain't gonna work the nigga <laughs> had like pink, a pink and blonde afro like <laughs> no but he got like the following out of this world the people you look at to be the weirdest hey the people that you look at that be the weirdest they being they self and they getting the most attraction from being their self like some people are afraid to be they self Mm-hmm. And that's the problem. It's cheaper to be yourself. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, well, like, if you like this, like it. Don't worry about what the next man got to say because that shit don't make sense to me. Is that because, you know like, my balance, that's our cousin right there. Like, we've been together our whole life or whatever. So yeah. back in the day, he used to call me skinny jean boys. And now he rocking skinny jeans. Like, so you got to <laughs> let people change. You got to be because yeah. I was into yeah. the Jabot fashion. Yeah. I was the 99 in the 2000 with Juvie. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? I'm, I'm from the, like, I'm from the hood. Yeah. You know what I'm yeah. saying? I'm from the hood. So I was on that. Maybe. That, that, yeah. that one, that one, like. He said Jabos. Yeah, I was Jabos. Coming on some real shit, Jabos was the thing. I had a tall, I had a tall team. Matter of fact, back then when it was out, I used to rock a little afro with the bandana tied around with the pick, right? Yeah. You know what I mean? So I was like, boom, then I so around. So early 2000. Yeah, yeah, that, that was my swag then. That's what different because, see, 
I was buying my clothes so I could buy what the fuck I want. Yeah, they was yeah, younger yeah, than me, yeah. so they mama that was buying the clothes. You buying them jeans that fit, boy. Put them bugle boy jeans. On. <laughs> <laughs> I, them boy. Boy jeans nigga. <laughs> I like my bugle boy jeans. So we, you got anybody that's not that notable from where y'all from that you know? Like any? Uh, it's I probably mean, just gonna be me soon. Yeah, yeah. Right, right. 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 I mean, so I'm ready. confident. Go ahead and claim confident. that one, buddy. I'm so ready to listen to what you got because I do feel I love your confidence just walking in and like being like, but we have never saw each other before, but like we having a conversation right now, like we just been talking together for the last twenty years. <laughs> dog. I know her for the rest of my life. Like, like once you once you once you listen to her, once you listen to something of hers, like one song. You'll get you'll get some quotes for Facebook or for yeah. IG. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? Like that's the type of rapper she is. You know, yeah. she'll make you sit like, damn. You, you right. got to change it, my shit. You know what I'm saying? You got to catch it. Exactly. Though. That's what I'm saying. And that's why that's what networking do because I feel like mm-hmm. I think if you coming on here and you showing you showing me your confidence who you are as a person. That so that makes me want to come yeah. into your music. Yeah. And so like that's no, why that's the kind of platform we trying to bring out to people that people can come over here and show their personality because like it's so many people that's funny talented out here yeah and maybe like they don't have the, the right place to go so people can understand who they are as a person and then vibe to what they got going on yeah talent. that right, right. and then i think when people get the platform they kind of act a little too tough Okay. Yeah, you know what I'm no saying? Need like, for that. Too cool. right, there's no too need cool. for that. Like, they there's no need. Do, you know, like, but like, yourself. there's there's like artists that I had never listened to. Matter of fact, Tyler the Creator is the perfect example of this. Yeah, I've never like I've listened to Tyler Creator mm-hmm. songs, but I'm like I'm not a fan. I don't. Yeah. I can't sing any of his songs verbatim. But he did a interview with Ebro. He did Ebro in the morning in um, New York. Uh, yeah, yeah, interview. yeah. And um. No, Ebro the black dude Ebro? with the beard. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> oh, okay. He looks white though. He like Rosenberg the white guy. Yeah, go, Rosenberg the white guy. But okay, yeah, word, word. um, well, it's there's he's on the show too. Rosenberg mm-hmm. on the show too. But anyway, um, he just interviewed him, yeah. and I I really fucked with his personality, yeah, yeah. and because I fucked with his personality, I'm like, you know what? They talk about this album so much. Let me go back. Let me and go listen check it out. They talk right. about this probably one of the albums of the year. Let me go. Yeah. But there's a lot of people. You know what I'm saying? That I've watched their interview, mm. and not necessarily that I became a fan of their music or per se, I a fan but of I became of them, yeah. and, and that, I root for them. After. And that's yeah. how that's how it be with me. Like, if I could catch you on an interview, or you just being you, mm-hmm. then I start fucking with your music. Mm-hmm. I don't want to fuck with your music because you giving me this, but then you showing me this. Mm-hmm. It's like it's a difference right there. So. You know who else was like that for me? Black youngster. Right. So like my younger cousin, uh, I, I got Turn, two younger cousins that always be like putting me on the music because I'm older, right? Like, I'm in my 30s. So, I don't be... You look out there 22. God is good. So, <laughs> <Black don't crack. laughs> so, so like, they, she was like, no, you need to listen to Black. Y'all talking about, you talking about that stupid nigga on Instagram? Right. Like, I don't want to talk. I don't want to listen to him. But then, he was like on The Breakfast Club. He was yeah. on an interview and he was... Dead. And I was like, you know what? It's an act. I get it. This nigga is smart as yeah. shit. Because I get it. I, I know what you're talking about because he was like, okay, with his music, he talked that shit. Mm-hmm. And then with his little Instagram. Shit, yeah, he videos. out there, you know, he just being a, a fucking clown. Yeah, he, yeah. But when he shit. sat down on that interview and he told him like, jury, I don't wear my jury all the time. This shit is for cameras. Right. And he was like, I got so much property. I got so many businesses going on that oh, people don't that, even know that, about. That's what put and me that's on. the thing. Mm-hmm. He was like, he was like, um, he said something like, "Yo, I've been throwing money before this rap. Mm-hmm. Look yeah. at my rental properties." I'm like, "What?" But you wouldn't think that by seeing yeah, because his little right. fucking videos yeah, the way he did. Like, yeah, 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 you little stupid ass whore. Right. <laughs> you know mm-hmm. what I'm saying? Right. No, I mean, and after after that vid- um, interview, I actually started watching the videos. I'm like, "Oh, yeah. no, this nigga is actually hilarious." It's yeah, yeah, he's just funny. It's entertainment. I gotta draw you into me. Yes. Yeah. Yeah, you gotta my, have high antics. Hey, to make somebody watch. Yeah. My entertainment is not my personal life. You right. know what I'm saying? Exactly. It's, it's a difference. Yeah. It's really a big difference. Yeah. Though. Because uh, like we different people in the real world than when we at the house. You know? Right. No. We I, putting on the character right now. Yeah. I ain't this when I'm at the house by myself. No. And I, I'm me. I, I, I tell people. Shit, I tell <laughs> yeah, we talk shit all the time. Anytime, <laughs> like sometimes, like when I rap, sometimes when I go out, I gotta flip a switch because I'm. Yeah, you gotta like it's like acting in a way. Yeah. yeah. You gotta like literally like zone in like a football game for us. Like right. you can't just go to a football game just a regular you. You gotta no. get in that zone. I'm gonna go, go get tackled or go tackle. Yeah. Mm-hmm. That's why it, the uh, we talking about Country Rain earlier. That's why his jump happened because like he he just flipped the switch and went to another personality and like people can attract to that. Mm-hmm. Yeah, you gotta know what the people want. It's yeah. just like it's just like coming with a product. 
you got to put that product out there to see if people go fuck with it. If they don't, snatch it back off and give them something else. Exactly. That one, that's why, like, that way. just with this product, we're trying to push, like, like I said, we're on episode 91. Like, we totally was a different podcast just a year ago at the same time because, right. like, yeah. we're trying to give the people what they want because, right. like, like, we ain't got the most the most followers, but, like, it's like we do got to have a certain people. Like, we won't put it out this week. So, we hit us up, like, where is that? Where the podcast is at? So, yeah. we got a certain amount of people that listen. And it, it's cool. One person listens to the podcast. I'm fine with it because it's something I built yeah. that came out of my brain. And now that people think it's something good enough for them to, like, y'all to want to come on. I appreciate that in my opinion. Like, yeah, you got to. Yeah, because like because that's, mad, that's mad love. You, you know feel I me? Mean? Like it's something I just came up with. Like man, I because like again, we always say mm-hmm. if I can't, if nobody invite me to their podcast, then I just create my own. Like I yeah. said, you don't got to right, wait for right, nobody right, to right. do nothing for you. Yeah. Like right now, it's a team. Like you appreciate them for wanting to come on, yep. but they're appreciating you for letting them come on because oh, they yeah. get to put yeah, themselves yeah. out. And now Most definitely. you letting them put themselves out, they go put you out. So exactly. yeah. everything yeah. works Teamwork. in the table. Yeah. Y'all people want to see y'all alone and we happy for y'all people to see us. Right. Yeah, exactly. Right. Like, QB. And now, I think now I, we got to come to each other birthday parties. Got you yeah. know what I'm saying? Yeah. 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 Look, my ours is on the way. Yeah, October, October 29th. October 29th. Okay. That's actually I'm when right I'm right drop my y'all. next album too. Because oh, yeah. I'm November the second. Yeah. Mm-hmm. November 21st. Yeah. What y'all live? Yeah. We Gemini though. Yeah. Gemini. I'm a Scorpio. Yeah, we Gemini. You know what? I love Gemini's. Yeah, and that, you know what's crazy? Because y'all, y'all know y'all get a lot of hate, right? Gemini's yeah. get a lot of hate. But we but feel like, like we the real Gemini's, though, because like Gemini's <laughs> symbol is a y'all twin. Are twins. Yeah, so yeah, what's yeah, interesting yeah, yeah, yeah. about y'all being twins with Gemini <laughs> is um, I used to, I was in like probably like my longest relationship. It was talking about probably she just smacked me. She didn't even it say was that. Toxic. But anyway, no, it wasn't toxic. <laughs> she was a Gemini <laughs> and she had a twin. She had a, uh, she has a brother. Okay, They're okay. twins or mm-hmm. whatever. And then like they have like five close cousins that are like their best friends. All of them are Gemini's for like yeah. so like seven to eight years. I got like a crash course in Gemini. Y'all are actually really <laughs> solid people. Very so cool. Will I date one of y'all again? Yeah. Yeah. So since you talking, talking about um she, we always ask this question to people like, do you mm-hmm. think people are uh, born gay or do they um turn like you know get switched gay? Uh-oh. I mean, me, my person, I believe people are born gay. Right, so all right, let's go. <laughs> he loves having these. Con- yeah. He loves having these conversations. Yeah, because it's it's me. interesting. Um, yeah, it's like, very interesting. Like, you got some chat it. For the most part, people are born who they are. That's right. And that's um, what I told him. Because it's, like, you know, you think about it. Like, if you can learn how to be gay, then, yeah. like, you can learn how to be straight, right? Yeah. Right. Yes. Like, but nobody's doing who that. You are. Yeah, I know. I, <laughs> right? I didn't like, learn how to be straight. It. I just was, like, I just. That's why I always women, say. right? Yeah. You yeah. like women. And nobody, like, and, and the thing about it, because people will say, like, especially right now, because the visibility of gay people on TV and sexuality, and, and I get it. Like, I get some of the qualms. I'm from the old school. Like, I don't believe kids should be on watching TV and seeing, like, sex scenes, period, whether yeah. they're gay or straight. Like, mm-hmm. there's a line, you know. Yeah. But, like, the thing about it, the thing about it is. <laughs> Hey, I love her Tell boys, Tanner man. came and stole the show. I love her boy. <laughs> no, I'm sorry, Javon. I'm sorry, Javon. Hey, hey, this hold is hold our on. phone conversation. I want to. I want to. I want. I want to jump in this where you say you don't think that kids should watch it. Me, I'm the type of person where I don't want to hide anything from my kid because they will get curious. Yeah, but, and, yeah, and you not, but it, it's to a certain extent, though. You want to hide? You want? You want to hide sex, though? I mean, not if it's on TV. No, but I'm, it's to a certain. I get what I'm not saying. gonna let them watch porn, yeah. but if it's in the act where you see in the covers are over them, I don't mind them watch. You know how they used to tell us when we young, close your eyes. Close your eyes. Yeah. So I would rather them see that. Then I don't Ask want you to question. watch porn, though. You know what I mean? Like, yeah. no, that's no. Yeah. But like, just a scene. <laughs> the movie, these just ask, just hey, ask the hey, question. Hey, Tammy, these boys say porn too. You know? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I need to say porn over here. It's interesting before we jump back on. So on my way here, yeah. there was like a little like little race car joint in front of me yeah. and like it had like a porn hub sticker on it. So, <laughs> what the hell is that? I started to snatch it. We're talking about it right now. The energy of the world, man. It's different. But no, like it's, as far as that goes, like people are so afraid of, oh, it's on TV and they're going to become gay. My nigga. Now, you don't just become gay by watching. You are watching life. the Cosby show. You are right. not a doctor. <laughs> I ain't. Right. I know you're not your, a doctor. Your no. bitch is not a lawyer like right. Claire. You know right. what I'm saying? Your kids ain't in college worth a damn. You don't take right. care of your kids. You know what I'm saying? Like we grew up watching a lot of things on right. TV. Right. You know, I came from again a Paulus Island, a very small town. I was the gay people. Mm. You know what I'm <laughs> yeah. saying? Like Boy, so. Like you. you know what I'm saying? So it's not like I was influenced. I right. I remember 
remember the first time somebody called me gay. I didn't even know what gay was. I was like, what the fuck is that? No, I'm not. <laughs> hey, she's like, I'm, I'm just being me. But yeah, we got we got a first no cousin idea. that um, was really like like flamboyantly. He a dude, flamboyantly so mm-hmm. gay. So we always knew he did. So like in my head, I always knew like people were born that way. In no way, he was just born. Right, like, but right. Still, no, I got he a guy still boy participated like in like shit. We like we played football, basketball. He still played. Yeah, but right. you could tell he was that feminine. he was not into it. But by the way he acted and yeah. how he played it, he like he didn't it. play it manly. Like, like, he, like, like no, he like, could do it. I'm doing it because I got several gay cousins in my family. So like. You know what I'm saying? I accept whatever. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So it is what it is. Like, I don't judge it. I accept it. Yeah. Like, I hang with my gay cut. I don't care. And yeah. I thought about it. And I sat down one, with, with him one day. Was Listen, that's what I'm finna get at. So I sat down with him one day. I said, man, you know what? I had to really quit going to the mall with y'all because... I know who I am. You know who I am. I know who you are. But, but other those people, people don't know. they looking at me like they looking at me like, boy, you a. F-. <laughs> no, the fuck I'm not. I'm with my motherfucking cousin. Right, 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 right. I accept him as he is. He right. my cousin. Right. We grew up together my whole life. Right. So and then another thing is, um, my last child's mother, her daughter is that way now. Mm-hmm. So we used to be places. Hey, the waiter came up to him like, "Hey, what you having, little dude?" Yeah. Hey, we can't do that, but man, so like, she, she cut, I cut her half and shit. So you know what I'm saying? Little hey, dude, that. but that, and that's the thing. Like when you're when you're a masculine presenter woman like myself, and especially like you go like the short haircut route or yeah. whatever. Mm-hmm. Like you have to be completely comfortable you in gotta who be the hell you are, <laughs> you got bro, to be. because you're going to get that. Yeah. You know you're what I'm saying? It. Like, you're definitely, like, I just gained weight. Like, I just gained weight over the pandemic. Like, I used yeah. to be real skinny. Like, you gained weight? Yeah, I, mean, <laughs> I, know. I used to be skinny, skinny, like, real skinny or whatever. So, I gained weight. So, like, I'm just out here looking like a boy for real, for real. You yeah. know what I'm saying? So, like, I remember, I matter of fact, my aunt was in the hospital one time, and I came up to the room to see her, and the nurse was just like, Oh, you're gonna have to go, sweetie. Your son's gonna have to go. My aunt always called me her daughter. She's like, "That's a girl, and that's my daughter." <laughs> and I'm like, "Auntie, it's, it's fine. It's cool." It's, you know what I'm saying? Because I'm like, I know what I look like. It's, yeah, it's, it's fine. cool. <laughs> okay. you know what I'm hey, it's but so the, much- the thing about comfortability, though, with uh, you know, with gay people. Shout out to Bacardi. I don't know if y'all know a dude named Bacardi, Bacardi yeah, from Orangeburg. Yeah, mm. yeah he's All a right, promoter. So, Big promoter, you know what I'm saying? He cool with Rennie Rucci. Yeah. He'll okay. get you Rennie Rucci here. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. But um, he's like Trina's good friend too. But um, like he likes to invite me and a couple of my brothers and my homeboys, you know, to the club. Oh, my bad. He like to invite us to the club with him. You know what I'm saying? It looked good as a musician. You know what I'm saying? And he our homeboy. Like we don't work with him. We don't, you know what I'm saying? We see him outside the street. All of his brothers is the streets. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Like he's the only one that's like, you know, feminine. Yeah, you know what I mean. But we'll go to the club. Uh, people will be looking at us, you know, as we come in the door with him, and he flamboyant. Yeah, you know what I'm saying. He'll curl his dreads, makeup, a little right. bit of everything. You know what I'm saying. But and he a big guy too. Yeah, he a big dude. He you know what I'm saying. Like Bubba. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> but he'll fight. You know what I'm saying. Yeah, yeah. You know what I'm saying. But uh, like people will look at us like, man, yo, I don't know, y'all boys hanging with him. Yeah, but this is the thing. <laughs> They know who to try and who not to try. Exactly. Oh, yeah. Exactly. Like, yeah. like, exactly. Like, Most like my cousin be like, I ain't trying him. I straight up dude. I come at him wrong, he'll fuck me up. Yeah, yeah. But yeah. I know mm-hmm. he's weak on that shit. He's hiding it. I can I can tell by the way they he know. moves. Right. So they know. They, right, they right. know who to try. Oh, yeah. Exactly. Like, Definitely. He's not. He know y'all not like that, so he's not finna disrespect y'all or try y'all right. like that. And, and then I, people when like whenever you witness people like that, you start to gain com- more comfortability in right. yourself. Like damn. Right, and then you start understanding other people's comfortability too. Like, wow, yo, you know, you're a human. Yeah, right. you know what I mean. Like my cousin, hey, my cousin yeah. called me. He right. was like, "What you about to do?" I'm like, "Man, I'm about to go get some food. Oh, you about to take me out to eat with you? No, <laughs> <laughs> I, ain't that I can't do it no more. Ain't that about. I, hey, look, yeah, but but this is the thing though. This is the thing though. He has been out to eat with me, but you know what I'm saying. I might have my friend with me, but shit, if it's just me and him, fuck it. That's my cousin. I don't care right. what you think. Right, right. right. Hey, you do care though. No, the fuck I don't. You think you about it? Would you go to the mall? Yes, because I've with lived up. with him. I done been to Shut the mall up. with him plenty of times. That boy be lying, man. So Y'all, I ain't never been to the mall with Xavier and Bubba. Not no. recently. I don't hang with him now. We're grown. <laughs> I, I don't hang with him now. I haven't been to the mall with you. We went to the mall last week. When? You went in there with you me. Up. 
Shut up. No, you didn't pick me up for the mile. You picked me up. <laughs> well, you picked me up for the mile. Hey, look at that. Look at We didn't Somebody go lying. together. <laughs> we lying because we didn't go together. You picked me up from the mall. Oh, I got a lift. We were there together, though. I mean, I got, I got, I got a question. We'll talk yeah. about that later. I asked yeah, somebody. Tell me, ask for the light or whatever. Like, how? What y'all think of the um? Like, how many lighters you feel like you buy and you finish? Like nobody like, finish a lighter. Nobody I finish, finish a lighter. lighter. I don't know who. Uh, shit, you must got that bitch I'm going to tell you why I finish a lighter. I'm going to tell you why I finish a lighter. No, I don't have a latch. But remember, I work from home. And I'm not around it. I, I don't really hang out with a lot of people. I'm very selective that's about me. who I'm just yeah. all yeah, around. Yeah. You, Scorpio, you know. Yeah. Like, I'm so me. like. Can't hang with people. And then I'm I'm like a lighter stalker, too. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, how he had, he had it right here. But so you, then so it, take it, it disappeared, and I'd be like, "Where's I, I my lighter? Like, yeah, I need I'm, it. I'm not that person. Like, I'm not about to let that slide. Well, Where's my lighter? Yeah. <laughs> I don't. I don't buy a lighter at all. I steal all my lighters. Yeah, you can ask him. Yeah. Every lighter I get from him, I, t- I, I <laughs> yeah, took that shit. Like, fuck just it. take it by like, Let me use your lighter. Boom. He get the smoke and he done forgot slip oh. it in my pocket. But I don't notice that I slipped it in there. <laughs> right, right. And until I get up. home. Because I'll be like, get my lighter Damn. back, but I, I got that man lighter. And, and I'll be like, <laughs> when I pull it out, I'll be like, this he nigga don't call me about this lighter. I'm Fuck that shit. I'm definitely yeah. the yeah. Hey, only, I only, time I buy, the only time I buy a lighter is when I'm in traffic. You know what I'm saying? I, yeah, yeah, I can't find you don't have it. Yeah, you right. But one time, it was one time, dog. Stopped at a gas station. I was like, man, I don't, because I don't like buying lighters. Me neither. Saw a smoker. Pumping gas, I'm like yo, you got a light I can borrow real quick. Got his lighter and kept it moving. <laughs> <laughs> just throw it, man. Lighter. Hey, fuck it. Oh. It's lost. He had stoked. It he was should funny. go on that's the first time I've ever heard that. You got another one, you know? Oh, <laughs> sorry. Oh my god. Sorry. Well, um, niggas like <laughs> shit. Was talking about the, last week, we had a, a little clip that um got some traction on the internet saying about like what's the quickest um you have netted before. And we had a guy on the podcast. I know you haven't saw a town, but Gas Bro saw a Jabbar. But anyway, a guy on the podcast said, the fact he's nutty is 15 minutes. You believe that? That pussy trash. 15. Hell no, I got a whole bunch of homeboys. I know he lying. Yeah. Yeah. Lying. There you go. There you go. That's 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 the cameraman. He said, that's hey, the cameraman. He missed the stamina. That's the fat 15 is the fastest. Well, I mean, was it just the fastest? Was it was just it head? head? You said it was just was head? Was it head? Man, look, no, it was head. Like, I can believe it. No, no. It was sexual intercourse. Like me penetrating. Oh, yeah, her like, just so they just <laughs> so, so you count from when you penetrated her until you blast it out. That's fifteen minutes. Not like nothing. Yes, like but, not eating. Because no listen, pussy, nothing, listen, nothing. listen, let me tell you something. With me going in there eating the pussy and doing all this other shit and me right, coming by the, the time fuck, you get by the time there, I do that, that's even. fifteen minutes right there, and I'm done. <laughs> I gave you five minutes of penetration. Fuck <laughs> I gave you five minutes of uh of oral sex. Shit, I gave five minutes of the conversation just to start the fucking <laughs> shit out. There's your 15 minutes 15 right now. I'm done. Body, uh, Man, I hope you got yours. Man. I hope you got yours. But me, so, so at, what, at the end you, of the day. You ain't worried about pleasing the woman? Nah, at the end of the day, I'm I mean, a pleaser. He, he I'm a worried because he done, he done gave her head first. Yeah, yeah, I'm a pleaser. So, you know. Hey, he look, did if, it first. If, I, if I like her. I'm gonna fucking eat the pussy till she nut first. Anyway, I'm gonna give her two of them. I'm nasty. Yeah. Yeah. You feel me? Yeah. You know how that shit go. You a nasty mother. Yeah, I'm eating. I'm gonna let her nut. Oh, Here, nut in the mouth. Yeah. <laughs> Don't do that nasty squirting shit, though. You do that shit, now nah, I ain't gonna talk to yeah. you. Yeah. <laughs> I, was about to say, I was about to say That's something. That's disrespectful, right? I was about, yeah. I was about to tell it. a story, but it's a little go too ahead, recent. Go ahead and tell the story. We grab it. Nah, but for real, like, Okay, that. I'm gonna just make sure she don't watch it. Okay. She ain't gonna watch it. No. So. Let's be in jet. So yeah. we in the 69. She on top, so she ass in my face. Oh, yeah. Man. So you know, I'm back there. I'm having my meal back there and shit. <laughs> when having I say, my meal. I almost died. This bitch squirted dead in my fucking. Oh, you head. can't do that. Top of you. Flip this bitch. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. <laughs> Yeah, like you can't do that. <laughs> like, hey, hey, if I'm penetrating you and that happened, I'm cool with it. I'm gonna yeah. step right. back. Don't, don't get different. all that shit. I'm gonna I mean, enjoy it then. But I should have knew because it's not right like now? I didn't know she does that. Yeah, I know yeah, she I got does a, that. I got a question. What do you look at when you eating pussy? What do I look at? Like, what do you look at? Like, ma- majority of the time, what do you look at? I close look my eyes. Yeah, I close my eyes. I want to. I want to picture it inside my brain. What you picturing? You pitching the point of uh, what you trying to get to? Okay, you gotta hit the spot. I know that that kind of messed me up too. 
I don't, I don't close oh, my eyes when I eat pussy. I, don't know. I, I, I open and close. Hold on. No, you want to know why I really like that? Because you fucked me up. I never thought about that. What do I look at when I eat pussy? <laughs> All right, but for real. <laughs> for real. Especially, for especially real. when she on well, top no, of you. I know like, I look at her ass all the whole time. You know now, I mean? no. In that position, <laughs> my eyes are closed. My you eyes are closed. You look at the asshole. My eyes are closed. You fuck around and open your eyes you got some tissue But like, I'm just. Why you ain't getting in the shower? You knew I was coming. And I don't need to be fucking with bitch. You know I'm nasty. I don't need to be like this. You knew I was coming. You ain't getting in the shower. Now I'm going home. Yeah, I know. I'm going home. Ain't no two ways around it, bitch. I'm out. Go take a shower first. But yeah, yeah. No, I think yeah. I look at them, and look, I'm giving guys um, tips. I look at them to watch reaction to make I sure do that, that I'm doing. doing. That's why I say I, I open know and close. What I'm doing because when I when I look, I feel like. I'm seeing that she pleased mm -hmm. or what she's doing, mm -hmm. but then I gotta get back focused. Let me close and yeah, go back yeah, in my tongue. Right. I gotta go back in. Yeah. You know and what I mean? Like sometimes I'll be real. Really. Sometimes I just be in my yeah. head. I don't be like I be yeah. here and I be eating pussy, but I don't even be thinking about it. Like I just hear her say, "Oh," and then I be like, "Oh, that I'm, I'm doing what I'm supposed to be doing." Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. I would think a girl would know how to eat pussy so great because she know what feels good. Every but woman's body's and different. That's right. And plus, she can't eat her own pussy. And if she can't could, if she could, it would only be to please her, not her. Right. Because I eat pussy this way right. to please her. Like, now, every dude doesn't like. If I can take my pussy like, off and eat it. I like that. <laughs> if I can my, take my, my pussy my off and eat it. Like, every, <laughs> every dude doesn't like aggressive head. Right. You know, like, right. every dude don't, don't like all don't, that. Don't, like, don't, don't go motherfucking stone cold on my shit. Take your time. Right. Damn Some damn niggas like it slow. Yeah. Some like niggas like that hands. sloppy, crazy looking shit. You don't got to have all that spit for me. I be like, ooh. All that extra spit, like, you have spit rolling down my leg. I don't need that. That shit roll up on your ass. Yeah, that's gross. Yeah, this shit crazy. Got the mud, but yeah. that's but, but, but I, I wouldn't never like that. You feel me? Like just have like you know, like Superhead. She can get the best like uh, technique, you know, with the two hands situation. Court you know the court screw. We call it the court screw the or court whatever. Screw? The uh, whack whack. <laughs> you got a twist. The got nah. 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 I, 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 I watch porn. I know what it means. Yeah. Right. But if y'all um say if you were having sex and stuff like say you have sex one day, I always had that conversation about having sex on a Monday, then have sex on a Thursday. You know, like if you have sex multiple times in a day, is that considered multiple times that week or just for that day? Just for that day. That just day. That I ain't multiple times a week, man. Yeah, ain't like, yeah. so I, you I mean, sex, go ahead. You know like what? That's I, a lot of I, fucking. Yeah, man. I feel. I, I'm, I'm at an age now. I feel like I done yeah, fucked enough. So if I can get some pussy two to three times a week, I'm a, a week, right? right. <laughs> yeah, I'm like I don't need all that shit. I might be in that age range. When the period, when the period come on, hey, look, when the period come on, baby, fuck it, we on vacation. We gotta let that thing matter. We on vacation. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. Let's get back. Especially if you get one that like the fuck, like, cause when women, like, when you find those women that like the fuck, like, bro, you be like, how you be? So I don't know this invasive, but you be scrapping up. Okay, that's how it is. But listen, this is saying like I hate those. Just got double I, I had one woman. She felt like every time she came to my house, we was coming to fuck. I was like, how often do you want to fuck? She was like, every day. I was like, I'm oh, why? I'm, I'm 35 why? years old. I can't. So, fuck so you don't me. like to fuck like every visit? I can't do it. Like if she coming over every day. Oh, guess, every day, yeah, that's my look. Yeah, look, we might, we might be chilling. We lay in the bed, smoking a little blunt. So they won't, they won't she just go to suck in the dick. I'm like, the fuck, I wait, damn. So this bitch gonna jump up. I'm like, this motherfucker better work today. Like, <laughs> damn, <laughs> bitch, you ain't watching this movie. Like, like I'm into the movie. Yeah, like Squid Games, bitch, you ain't. I know. I'm trying to watch this. Jaren say he fucking every day. Jaren say he fucking every day. Like, ain't going for 15 minutes at least. That's 15. If I'm with a female who want to fuck every day, and I love, yeah, we fucking every day. Hey, nah, she just so for more than 15 day. minutes every time. Hey, look, that's, oh, wait, that's a dick, the, that's nigga. The so you ain't never that's had a quickie before. That's not a quick. I can't have a quick. <laughs> hey, damn, like, I don't have a man got stamina of steel. That's what I'm talking about. He got a medical He got lesbian stamina. That's what I'm talking about. Medical, he got can we just get a girl to fuck you on camera? <laughs> <laughs> hey, 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 I got this know. one bitch, yo. We, hey, and no, we're not gonna let you jack out before. None of that. No, if she don't do it, he really is that dude. I can't control that shit. 
Nah, I, I, huh? can't control, I can't control it. No, you're not going to stretch that. She's going to pull it at you, boy. What you mean? Yeah, pull it at you. When I'm ready for it to come out. <laughs> You can't control that shit. You can't shit. control that shit that puts on you, boy. Man, I don't win in I don't win in like, yo, I gotta last with this girl. Man, I probably got a couple strokes and I like, yeah, oh yeah. yeah. You try to come out, you try to come out like, yeah, I'm trying to last long, you go back nah, in there, you it's over. Like, you know your head, you like, I can't even change it, man. Yeah, 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 you have a nut and try to keep going and it's like, man, fuck man, I can't even I can't even keep going. I'm up for going back down. I don't know. I'm a lesbian. I don't have these problems. That's why we be winning. That's why we be winning. It's fucked up. Hey, listen, this is the thing. The battery is always Listen, full. If the battery even died, it still got penetration. You don't need the vibration. So us, well, once we girl, shoot, once we shoot, so we're back to gummy worms. Worm. We're back to fucking gummy worms. I didn't, worm. not, not, I didn't no, shoot no, the motherfucking not, thing. Not, not she did. Now I'm still ready. I'm still ready. close dude. enough, boy. I ain't got no rounds in me no more. Hey, I'm, hey, I'm, I'm Deontay Wilder. No, 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 I ain't no, 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 no gummy worm for me. If I'm busting off, I'm still good the way I go. My blood still flowing. Y'all in your 20s? Y'all in your 20s? We don't, we 31. 31. Hold on. 31. 31. 31. Oh, I ain't, I ain't I'm, like I'm 35. I ain't got round. I'm 36. I ain't got round. I'm 36. Hey, what birthday is that? My round is three minutes. So <laughs> they get out at the first but round. I guess, I guess how it goes is like you got, you got, you, you got a, uh, a different mile. She's talking about three minutes. Like yeah, she out here stroking. You got a different mile uh, uh, in your life or whatever. Again, I'm a lesbian. Yeah, you're right. You're right. I do feel it. You might burn yourself out, man. You might burn yourself out. early in life, you might burn yourself out. Is that? Yeah, you weren't getting no pussy. Yeah, I'm burnt now. I don't I have them problems. Because like yeah, you said, you, you done, after she done sucked you up, and then after you done went in there, it's over with for you. Your knees weak, your back right. so hey, hey, not give me, me a break. I don't have these problems. Hey, you right in there. Hey, do bitches but, suck the strap? Some of them do. <laughs> How you feel about it? How you feel about that? It's like, do you like? Do you like feel it inside? Like, uh, like this? Damn, this look good. Yeah, it look good. I, I don't so, got no sensation. <laughs> for me, right? Like, okay, because this happened like twice every bitch is in it into that. Like, some hoes uh, just freaky shit. some bitches just like shit they mouth. Yeah, like they i could have stuck okay, a banana yeah, yeah. down that bitch throat and she would have just she just more so right but <laughs> like there's some women that know how to suck the strap and move it around in a way that i do feel it. okay okay and i'm like oh okay <laughs> this is nice <laughs> can and i then, just lay and be a lesbian because i ain't running into these kind of freaky because <laughs> like, 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 i'm gonna tell you women, something women though like freaky. yeah women but, like there's some women that women? just it's it's really just for them like the aesthetic is nice just watching them do it is nice i guess but like, the right. second that second go around i never i didn't get that was all her yeah. <laughs> do a lot of like I, I women be did, like I just a willing participant. They act they like act gay for the time being, but they always won't do so. Do most of so it's not necessarily an acting. I think and I think that's where like um society kind of has that part wrong. So like sexuality is like more fluid okay, okay. than anything else. So, so like it's both. not necessarily like they're acting gay or they're acting straight. Like bitch really just might want a bitch to fuck a one yeah, night. Right. You uh -huh. know? And then right. by the end of the week, she go to the baby daddy and be like, you know what? I want him to do it to My me My sister now. call that the you know? cold dick or that warm dick. Sometimes I want the cold dick. Sometimes I want the warm dick. You know what I'm saying? Like, but it's not necessarily acting. You know okay. what I'm saying? Like, it's, it's, it's genuinely like I like I like men. I like women. Like. Cause you know, like you know uh, uh, dick on a man gonna have warmth to it because it's our mm -hmm. body. Yeah. So a, a rubber dick gonna be kind of cold because there ain't no like body temperature going into the rubber dick, you know. So it's gonna be cold as going inside you. I, but with a man going inside with that vein popping out, dropping. They make them with veins, nigga. They make them. She's like, they make them veins, nigga. Right, look, they, she look, like, we got it. Let me tell you something. It's hard to be the woman. It's hard. Nah. It's hard. It's hard. It's hard. It's really hard. To a woman just gotta want a man. That's it. That's how you be the woman. She gotta want a man. Yeah. Other than that, you gonna lose. Yeah, it's no, tough. like if you guys you like a sexually fluid woman, like women that's kinda like gonna fuck a woman mm -hmm. or a dude, like you you got competition, but like the yeah. on, like the only way you're gonna beat a woman out sexually, I feel like it's just an opinion guys. As if like that woman genuinely is just well, straight yeah. from Yeah, she's just straight. Yeah. Like, because a woman gonna know how to treat a woman better too. Yeah. That part too, nigga, like you I be telling niggas all the time, y'all drop the ball. Like we lesbians get coochie off like the dumbest shit. Like <laughs> yeah, by the time coochie. I opened the door, pumped the gas, and goddamn took her trash out, like it's over with. Bitch, she you wanna marry me? Nigga <laughs> <lady. Because laughs> niggas are like, too sorry to fucking do that. That's why these women yeah. win. Like, like I don't seen yeah. like studs do over the like not even over the most, but what a man should be doing for yeah. a woman. Period. I seen a stud come straight do it. in, start and, and, doing everything, and, and that shit is just. Do you, you, know you do it for a woman? That shit take over. Do like, you do it for a woman, Mallory? What? Yeah. 
I'm that type of guy. You take out the trash for a while? I take and You open a car though. I, I ain't open, never I would, like you open the car though. When have you been with me when I've been with fucking women? That's the thing. You talking about you never seen you never seen me go to a woman's house. I have took out plenty of women trash. I done cleaned up at plenty of women's houses. Okay? I <laughs> hey, you shit. wash dishes? Hey, you wash dishes? I don't even wash dishes. A man, my grandma told me a man should never get a pen. Why? So you wash dishes? Why? Your house? No, I make some I make a Hey, why your grandma say that? Hey, my grandma, listen, I, when I stayed with my grandma, I never washed <laughs> dishes. I never made my bed. She sent my ass outside. Oh, I sorry. should never wash the fucking dishes. Uh, That's a woman's job. Man should never have soft hand, but my hand soft because I could have soft. Yeah. My hand soft. Oh, you could have? Yeah. That is so nice. The Barbara yeah. Mallet, man. I, I just love famous, man. I just love famous cuts. That's right. Something oh, like shit. that. Make me take a ride. But what else y'all, what y'all, what y'all want to um, talk about and promote? But I got one more question. Though. I'm going to watch it be about oh. some fucking pussy. But like, you know, like, <laughs> you say you're not in a relationship anymore. Y'all in a relationship. No, I'm not in a relationship. So like, when you break up with your partner, how long should you wait until you start dealing with other people? I think uh, that's different for different people. Mm-hmm. Everybody doesn't heal the same way. I'm a Scorpio. I'm a water sign, so I might hate you for like six months before I. I'm a Scorpio. <laughs> I can't. No, it. no, but I think it's different. But what I will say is, no matter how much time it takes for an individual, I definitely believe that um, you should should one definitely be sure that you're over, not just the person, but the situation. Right. Because there's a difference in two, you know what I'm saying? Like, some people, like, are, I'm over that person. I genuinely don't want to be with them, but the right. things that happen in that relationship, I'm not over it. So, yeah. I think, right. you know, no matter if you're, like, a 30-day person, because I got, a, like, a home girl. How about like, 30 she, hours? She give herself a 30, like, 30 days I, I, straight. Yeah, I got a home like, girl. She dead give ass. It's, like, 30, 30 days. days. 30 I'm going to cry she... this out, grieve <laughs> this out, and it's over. I'm outside. And mm, it really man. be like that for her every single time. And also, genuine that, shit. That, that's so what I told you. 30 days, right? 30 days. 30 days. But that's the nice way. But me personally, but yeah. I really Go ahead. No, go ahead. Me personally, that she right. I'm not going to say she wrong. She's right, for real. But what's happening out here, motherfuckers is already prepared for the next person. Right. Yeah. That's true. They already in their corner. Already, yeah. That person is already in their corner. They already dating. Like One or two. Out of a relationship, I say... I don't want to have to give myself up before 30 days, but if it come down to it, I'm just finna do it. I'm gonna be out here dating and shit, you know what I'm saying? So if I like this person, this person come back and they wanna do something and I'm in that mood, fuck it. I fuck. know, it could be day I one, mean, somebody hey, hit you if, if my feelings, you, If my feelings fuck. lead from what I had going on to what is going on, yeah. then it's, it's all right, fuck what another motherfucker feel. I got my own feelings, now. Nah. Hey, what's dating? <laughs> like, just like, dating is like. Going on dates. Going on dates, like we going out to eat. We chilling, but you're not spending the night. You know how you can have someone like it's not exclusive dating. Like is we're not, dating is dating trips. It depends because if I take a trip, true. Sure. That's that's that's, that's a booty, lot. girl. Boy, you know what I'm saying? Like, are you fucking? So are you, I'm not going. Are you going. When you dating? No, not really. No, not really. not really. No, you're not dating. Like, <laughs> like I ain't gonna say like oh, okay, 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 okay. Yeah, if yeah, you yeah. dating, I feel like it's no sex. You you okay. out to eat. You spend a little time. You seeing where it can go before you even go to. Now, that's once good. you start fucking and giving your body to somebody, I feel like that's exclusive dating. But then again, I feel like it's not because if you're not setting your boundaries with what's going on, yeah, then like you're kind of like mixing a whole bunch of shit together. Right. So if you're dating, keep it as dating where y'all don't ride together, y'all meet at a place, y'all eat, to y'all do whatever, little shit like and that. Yeah, you right, go your you're separate right. way. Like right. you don't go spend that whole day together. Yeah, and yeah, then yeah. If that's you, boyfriend girlfriend material. Right. Right. That's that's exclusive. Exclusive. Yeah. That was those are relationship activities. So I get it. Like been the whole if, day. If, if, if I you, feel like women should always. And be if you dating, and if that person <laughs> say, "Oh, they don't mind you talking to other people, yeah. or you could do what you want," you just dating that person. Mm-hmm. You There's really no strings right. attached. Get no so, strings attached. So if you tell me that, and we fuck around, and we do fuck. And you in your feelings, but you done told me that I could talk to this oh, person. I'm gonna and this bring person. that up. I I'm had, bringing I, that I, shit. Up. Had I just brought it up mean. to somebody. Listen like, here, bitch. <laughs> <laughs> you said, but, but, but I trying to make you, and then you said you wanted to be single. All right, all right. well, yeah. do that, bitch. I'm being single now. You yeah. mad? Yeah, yeah for real. I'm done. I like it. <laughs> right game, wrong nigga. Yeah. Fuck. Right <laughs> game, wrong nigga. That's my thing. Right game, wrong nigga. That might be the podcast. So man, you said you said something that I want to go back to that I like because boundaries. You know, that's like my favorite thing. Yeah. Like I love, like because I'm so good at it. Now I used to be bad at it. setting boundaries. Like, do you think that's like that's probably like one of the problems with like dating and 
the talking phase that people aren't honest. I was about to say life, honest life period. Like, like yeah, yeah, life boundaries. Just everything about boundaries. with boundaries. Yeah, just, yeah. People overstep their boundaries and don't even know it. Yep, but that's what you got to check them and never know. But, like, it's because people don't really say that. Like, why do you think people are so uh, afraid to set their boundaries in there? Because they don't know their boundaries. But, okay, no, it's not that. I people, can agree with that. That yeah, might be one of the answers. Yeah, that's one. But people can be afraid to set their boundaries because they don't know how this other person feels because they never really talked about it. So if you cut somebody out from their boundaries, they feel like they'll lose that person. They don't want to lose that person because that person can be a great person for them. But uh, that that's what I'm saying. They don't know the boundaries. Like, yeah, you, you so like, you, if they do this to me, I'm going to stop talking to them. But then they do it to them. <laughs> then like, man, well, I, I will go stop talking to them, but I miss them too much. So yeah, yeah, like these people brought this – great vibe with these boundaries but i don't want to overstep my boundaries and then we cause a conflict now yeah. you know what i'm saying so like dealing with that to avoid conflict that's just human that's nature is. everybody just just human be, nature you know everybody just wants to be happy right, right. Nobody wants to go through but the tough because shit. now that's cool. why i feel like a person need to sit down and let me know what's going on so i can know my boundaries mm. right. it's like, hard it's hard because no one can sit down and talk and give their true self because you could tell me that you want to fuck with me or you could tell me that you don't want to fuck with me but you want to fuck with me yeah so once i don't give you what you want now you feel like i'm not stepping up to my boundaries but you gave me a reason not to but so, but, but still you yeah, gave you gave you yeah. told them that you're gonna do something <laughs> okay. they expect you to do it but listen though that's a boundary if they told you to do something you got to go to that boundary if you're willing. But you can be like, no, I feel like that's stepping over my boundary. Let the person know, I can't do that. Yeah, comfort zone. That's yeah, all like, I can't do that. So if if this person, like, yeah, we go do this and do this and do this, and if I can accept, mm-hmm. let me meet those boundaries. See, because right. the reason why I was like, damn, is because I've been in that situation. Yeah, I've been in the, in the, Within, the, like, the past couple of years where it was, I like you. Yeah. You like me. All right. We dating. So now we dating now. But I'm... We didn't have the conversation, but thinking we dating with a purpose. But then it's like, I just want to right. be single. Okay. All that. right. Well, that's not what I expected. <laughs> but, all right. Be right. single. Okay. So we single. We single. Okay. We, yeah, single. we single. So now, okay, just to let you know, all that cute shit I was doing. How <laughs> the shit? Benito. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just letting you know now. Now you mad though. Like, like actively, why? you not putting in no effort. Do do do. Remember what you say. Effort that do Remember I need what to you be saying? <laughs> we single. Let's take it back. Let's take it back. We're single. Did you Cause forget? I had somebody tell right? me, oh, we single. That's you crazy. can do what you want to do. The woo the woo. Ain't no ring on this finger. Boom! When you said that, guess what? Woo. In my mind, I we man, single. I can do what the fuck I want? Oh, we now. super. Single. Are you paying for you, you're paying for everything? I'm hitting when I want to. <laughs> not right, not, not when you call me. Because what you think yeah. this is? Uh-uh. <laughs> but, then, but then, hey. For less than 15 minutes, too. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I ain't got that in me, boy. <laughs> <laughs> I ain't got that in me. She ain't get no more than 15 no, minutes. She ain't get no more than 15 minutes. <laughs> yeah, what she do? That's a Jern max, one. not a man. Jern, one. Talk about that's the max. 15 the minutes, man. man. I, I can say 15 minutes is a good, strong, long time, in my opinion. Like, man, you, I get, you I doing, get. You doing a good, a good job to get the 15 minutes on a what? good day. Like, so, 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 so do you, you go in thinking about the time? That you about to be there? I mean, I, I have a folk. I don't know what it's gonna work. Hit fifteen minutes different. Every time I look up, I do every time. We've been here about forty-five, going strong. Forty-five, uh, boy. Man, my dick hurt. What? <laughs> I am tired. I have rolled over. Sleep. Man, so, man, I'm not. My arms on the floor. I'm not saying I'm fucking forty-five minutes. Oh, like it's a lot of shit I can do in forty-five minutes. Tired, tired, yeah, four point. Fucking forty-five minutes. You know, one of the perks of being me, right, is I get to hear, like, a lot of women's conversations, because, of course, I'm a woman. Mm-hmm. And I get to hear a lot of male conversations, because, you know, masculine percent, yeah. stuff, whatever, right? So, like, I just want y'all to know, women talk so much shit about y'all. Exactly. <laughs> talk about the but time. Hey, I'm going to tell you this. Time it's shit, not, it's like, not about you being a woman. I think women just enjoy talking to Scorpios, because I get the same shit. Women tell yeah. me so much <laughs> shit, a lot of and shit men too. tell me so much That's shit. Really and right. I'm, yeah, it's just a Scorpio thing, so because they feel like they can just talk to a and me, I'm willing to soak it up like shit. I ain't nosy by it. I'm not nosy at all, but I'm a listener. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> but yeah, no, like women, women definitely talk a lot of shit about y'all. 
all yeah. that time shit. Y'all nigga don't be want to fuck none. Nigga fuck it for three men. Nigga, what's that alone? Three, three men. Three star. Hey, hey, I was hey. stroking hard though for three minutes. I went That's hard. Why. <laughs> but, but see, you try to kill the pussy early. You <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I was tired. But, no, I'm talking. <laughs> it's hot. When, when, like I say, there's no they rub on there. So ass, if you, you be at a level in your head, you already so horny mentally. Yeah. So like, once yeah. I'm aroused point, by my woman. Like, you get to that point, you're like, man, the the, 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 the juices, the berries, the, the emotions, like, I can't even help it, but I'm out of here. See yeah. ya. Over. Like, can't even. I'm done. That's just how it be sometimes. Okay, so, all right. So, that's fine and all, but y'all, like, so it's like, the is the three to 15 minutes, like, that's it? That's the only round? Or no. how many rounds are they no, getting I'm, them I'm, three to 15 three, four, minutes? Four that 15 minute shit, like, we're in a relationship, but at this point, I'm going to fuck you how long, you know what I'm saying? It's going to be right. days where I'm going to give it to you how I'm supposed to give it to you as your man. Mm-hmm. But, like, I mean, on I a, get it. On an average, I say I'm not gonna sit on that 15. I'm gonna sit on the, I'm gonna sit on like 27 minutes. 27, 27 minutes. minutes. Just 27, not 30. Not 30. Nah, <laughs> nah, three minutes. That's a lot. I'm not even gonna too much. Another bottle of water. Yeah. <laughs> hey, I ain't gonna lie. You know what I'm saying? Water. Sleep. I'm gonna tell you something. Not me. Y'all realize lesbians fuck for like eight hours. Y'all make it sound crazy. Rubber to me. dick. I don't have that <laughs> energizer. Like, but I'm gonna tell you this. It's though. like an all day event. Hey, no I, 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 I don't figure this shit out. I don't figure this shit out. Men, <laughs> what they do, I'm gonna tell you. Now, nah, listen, if you want that other round, you need that other round. Go drink you some water or some coconut water and you get that extra charge. You say you put some hot water on you, eh? You gotta go wash the dick. Yeah. You gotta wash it. You gotta wash it with a warm rag. You gotta get up. Hey, get it back to the state. So when it get back right, it's ready. Yeah. Drink your water. Wash your dick. Drink your water. Say coconut your water. Dick, coconut you water drink your good. water and you wash energy. your dick. It, it charges. Okay, word, word. How about popping blue chew? Right, Who? A little blue chew. I'm not popping shit. You're not popping <laughs> dick in my mouth. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that was gonna do. That's it. Hey, yeah. But give y'all social media before we get out of here. Um. You gonna give it? You don't. Uh, IG Gas Bros eight four three. Uh. It's on Twitter too. I need to get on Twitter. Hey, we'll be, we'll be on Twitter a lot. Let me get, let me get, let me get in here. Yeah. I'm Tam yeah. the Vibe. <laughs> yeah. e- e- on T- pro- also, producer, email me. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Look, I, hit me up and I'll tell him because yeah. clearly this is not working out. So, what's your IG and stuff like that? Tam the Vibe. It's T A M T H E V I I B E. And that's my social on everything Twitter, Facebook. Instagram. Yeah. Follow me. Yeah, I got, got an album the, uh, coming out on my birthday. October, October 29th. 29th. Highlight yeah. volume two. Yeah, you remember that? I already did. Yeah. Come on, I'm gonna like listen to it. Tell the vibe. Listen to the whole vibe, man. I like Gemini. Colin Kaepernick. I love, <laughs> yeah, I love Colin Kaepernick. Take a knee. Take a knee. But you can follow me at Why Twin because on Twitter, Instagram. Follow me at her sunny underscore guy on the snap. I don't really post that much, but when I do, I be so fresh and so fly. They call me Thousand Island because I be dressing. Go ahead, Jerry. Twitter at the Jeremy Gant. Um, Snap and IG Jeremy underscore Gant. Y'all yep, yeah, already know I ain't got number one damn thing, and that's the IG. You know what I'm saying? Well, I do, I do, I do got snap. I'm bullshit, but my IG, I just look famous. Snap, I been snapped. Come get the haircut hey. by Matter, man. Yeah. Yeah, hey, rank number two in the state out of thirty thousand bar was fuck it. Yeah. I don't know who number one is, but I'm coming. Hey. <laughs> Great like that. Hey, you can follow me on IG and Twitter at the Money QB. Hey, go to uh, Snapchat. Follow me at Fine Ass Twin. I be on there looking fine like you. You did. So go to uh, <laughs> Navy Black Pie on IG and Twitter. Go to the YouTube Navy Black Podcast and go to the website. Get your merch, man. Bring value, actions of a word. Be a doer, man. NavyBlackPodcast.com. And this is Navy Black Podcast. Thank hey. y'all for coming again. Next go time ahead. I come up here, I'm going to have some merch for y'all. I was in the yeah, rush. Yeah, me too. Oh, yeah, definitely. We do. We, do. we got, got a bunch of shirts. We got to get them made with them. So we're going like, to get them to you. Uh, my website, this ain't gonna be the last time we see my each other. My website is gastrends.co. Gashman.co. Oh, I got a website. It's tamdivide.com. Um, Tam <laughs> Everything is fucking tamdivide. Tam and and that's a good thing though. Like when you when you trying to get out here, you gotta have the same name for everything. Same thing. Yeah, yeah, that's why I'm the money quarterback. Yeah. This is the Dennis Robin episode. Why, why you the money quarterback, man? Huh? Why you the money quarterback for? Because I make plays with the money. You know? <laughs> Dennis Robin episode. We'll see y'all next week. The episode coming out Tuesday, man. Hey. We'll see y'all. Get it. Is. Like, subscribe, 
and follow the Neighbor Back Podcast on all social media platforms.